So for everybody in the States, him party is just like the bachelorette and her friends hanging out and doing what God knows or what. See, where are we? We are still in, well, we're in Nairobi, not still. Just got to Nairobi about 45 minutes ago. Yeah, and- about um, two hours ago? <laughs> two and a half, two hours and 20 minutes if we're going to, <laughs> if we're going to be precise. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> It wasn't. You just pulled numbers out of the sky all the time. <laughs> it wasn't 45 minutes. 45 minutes is what it took to walk here okay. after clearing security. Uh, yeah, so. <clears throat> well, Listen. okay, so we've been here for a couple you. hours. You got 11. You got 11 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just. Uh, so we decided to try to do this recap, <clears throat> and it might be a little noisy. Yeah, it might be a little noisy. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but here it goes. <clears throat> it was nothing. So yesterday was day six. It was day six. Yep, all day. All day. All That's day long. That's normally how it works. Yeah. So you know us. We did the uh, usual: wake up early, go work out. Uh, didn't go to breakfast, had an exceptional breakfast yesterday, it's been every day. Yeah, um, the breakfast at Swahili Beach, <clears throat> stellar. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't see any uh, monkeys um, stealing people's breakfast this time, or anything. Um, well, what was yesterday? What else? So yesterday was Tuesday, and um, so after training, after brekkie, we uh, just chilled out. We came upstairs, uh, Jones had some editing to do, and uh, he was working on that until oh. almost one o'clock, which is when we went for another couple's massage, and this time it was a hot stone massage. So on Sunday, we had done the deep tissue. Um, which yeah. is wonderful. <clears throat> I got beat up both days, but yeah. Wow. But it was nice though. I asked Jones if he had a, if he had a preference between the hot stone and the deep tissue, and you had said that they were both equally great. You still feel that way? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know um, which one was better, but the hot stones was like you know, I always wanted to do wanted to do that ever since I seen it on TV and other videos. So, uh, that was quite an experience. Um, yeah, the date kind of, it kind of got ahead of us, like, because it went kind of fast. It did, because it was our last day. It went quickly, but we weren't pressed, we weren't stressed. Nah, yeah, yeah. just wanted to chill out and relax. Um, but yeah, that, the uh, ladies were nice and lovely. Uh, we'll put an image of them. Um, we, uh, Gave a nice, oh yeah, I had to go back to the room, get some money, give them a nice little tip. Um, and then, uh, so after that massage, we decided to, you know, check out the beach again. As soon as we got in the water, we were getting bit by something. <laughs> but we also stayed a little bit, um, so what we hadn't done the other days at the spa because we were kind of hurrying. Um, is we didn't get to enjoy sort of the infinity view, pool view, or just uh, cliff view, if you will, of the beach from the spa itself. Uh, so we lounged out there for, for me it was nearly an hour. It turns out that with the services they bring out juice and infused water and the mango juice with everything. I have to tell you, it was delicious. Yeah. Um, so we had that, we just sat there, enjoyed the view, chatted, rested before we went to the beach. We spent a good amount of time there. Yeah, um, after that, um, you know, 
um, we came back and I wanted to chill out at the uh, pool and um, because I forgot her swimsuit because <laughs> I was rushing and I, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I have no excuse. The only reason he went back to the room was to yeah. get the swimsuit. <laughs> yeah, I went back to get some money and her swimsuit, but that didn't uh, pan out, but I had mine on and- uh, How convenient. <laughs> I just went swimming a little bit, but mostly chilled out. Um, and then um, after that, we, oh yeah, so we wanted to check out the cave restaurant. And so we got ready for that. Yeah, we basically but, chilled from one till four between the spa and the pool. Yeah. It was a nice afternoon for us and it was hot. Yeah. Hot. Um, and then but we, we at four o'clock we started to, to get ready. Yeah, we got ready. Um, and then we, we had to go pick up our laundry which was, uh, you know, they, they closed at, uh, they closed at like five and our appointment at Cave was 5.30. So we couldn't grab it, bring it back and then go. First, we negotiated a price with the Tuk Tuk and paid the, I still ended up giving him a little extra. <laughs> a lot extra. Well, no. Now we were paying people 500, 800. It turns out that the fee is about $50 per person each way. Guys. 50 shillings. Excuse me, 50 shillings per person each way. Yeah, the but reason why we, learned that we only story. paid, yeah, I mean, this time I paid 150. It should have, like a local would have been a 50. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. for a local would have been 100. And he was like, 150. I was like, okay. <laughs> Incidentally, the woman at the laundry spot was the only one that was uh, transparent with us about what the rate was to go up and down the strip. And when we got into the tuk tuk right outside the laundry spot, with this new information, we happen to have also gotten into a tuk tuk with a price list, which we had not seen before. How serendipitous. And it was also on the last day. Yeah. But it's fine. We fed some families and we're grateful. We know that there's been a lot of um, suffering due to El Nino, so we helped. We're grateful. All is yeah. good. All is good. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, so we got to, uh, we went to the cave and that was sorry before you go into the cave i made that face when he said we went to collect our laundry <laughs> guys yeah. our clothes were not clean it was you know we got a wash and fold and uh i assume they washed it and folded it they folded it but um for some reason alkali yogi's clothes a lot of her clothes weren't clean when we picked it up and that was about spent. We spent about what thirty five hundred uh, shillings, which was came out to like twenty two dollars. Um, and we had just mostly workout stuff, workout gear. We didn't have anything, you know, that required any extra, you know, attention. It was just just throw it in the washer, dry it, and then fold it. We grabbed this. Grab this bag. Oh yes, go ahead. All right. Um, oh, I thought that was a bowl of food, but that's um, cocoa, cocoa puffs. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're going to uh, do a part two to this. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to hit y'all back in a minute. <laughs> But, uh, we'll pick up where we left off, which is uh, the time of the cave. Yeah, the time of the cave. All right, y'all. It seemed like it. So, well, we'll see that. I got. Okay, we're back. Just like that. Nice and quiet now. She's holding the camera while I eat a little bit. He's having some hummus and veggies. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, that's what we're going to eat. Yeah, that's what we're going to eat. And good. He's so hot, for Chanel. <laughs> All right, so we left off. Hopefully, that's not too noisy. It's a coffee machine. We can speak louder. <laughs> we left off at. Um, we had gotten to the cave with our laundry mm -hmm. on hand. Not that it had been cleaned. I digress. <laughs> took um, a tuk tuk. Took a tuk tuk. We negotiated the 150, and we saw the prices. So we knew that we were in the correct ballpark as well as the woman from the laundry shop again. She 
brought us into the loop, we'll say. Um, once we got to the cave, we were probably the first ones, right? We were the first ones to arrive. They have two seatings, 5.30 till 8.30, and then 8.30 till 9.30. So we arrived right at 5.30, well, a little bit earlier, to be honest. Um, I think it was like 5.20 by the time we got there. They sat us down straight away. Um, and then I proceeded to take a bit of the view because I wanted to catch the daylight. Oh. So they sat us down. When we, when we pulled up outside, I was like, oh, this is closed down. <laughs> I was just like, where is it? It's really unassuming. Underground. Yeah. That's where it is. Like, it's, it's not a big like storefront, like a big sign or a big, you know, it's not a structure you can see from the outside. It's just a modest looking building. So. By the way, locally, if you're looking for it, ask for Alibaba's. Yes. Yeah. That's Alibaba. what the locals refer to it as. Um, but yeah, so we got there, we were sat, I began to take content uh, so that we could see it in the daytime. And then we began to order uh, and all in all, you know, uh, all in all, you were with, with us for most of the meal. You saw that we enjoyed the food, it wasn't bad. It also wasn't outstanding or anything like that, but um, we had a really nice night. Um, the ambiance and the experience. Yeah. Just to say you've been there and just to have that experience, like dining in a cave. Yeah, it's kind of once in a lifetime, right? So we did it. We're grateful. We really enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Uh, hopefully you'll go as well. Uh, support the locals, you know. Um, and then from there, again, we were... Uh, we were... Uh, Courteously, no, we were graciously taken back to our place, to Swahili Beach, where oh, we were staying. Uh, courtesy, courtesy, courtesy van. Yeah, apparently it's not just Kazamiya. This is, I think this is a thing for like the higher end restaurants, at yeah. least, at least for the higher end restaurants. They all seem to offer courtesy to and from, which is a great idea, uh, to and from your resort. Because this, this helps to entice people to leave the resort because it's very easy when you're staying at a, a resort which had the option of being all-inclusive Jones and I didn't go for that option because we wanted to venture out and try things outside of the resort but because it was available uh, it's very hard to get people to leave right because you could do everything there you can do boat rides and and water excursions you've got a gym at the resort a spa like five different restaurants. restaurants yeah so there's they make it challenging for people to be incentivized to leave but but I think having these courtesy, courtesy shuttles for yeah. people who are maybe new travelers that don't feel comfortable. Uh, I think this is a safe, a safe way to get people out. Yeah, plus the resort is right across the street from a car four. Car four? Mm -hmm. Car red? Ours was, yes. Yeah, so oh, no, I should pronounce that. Car, car four. Car four. Yeah, car four. Um, grocery store. This is a final booking for the passenger on the Emirates with EK. Seven two zero to Dubai. Please proceed to gate number seven. A final boarding call for engine waiting passenger on the Emirates with EK seven two zero to Dubai. Please proceed to gate number seven. That's your flight. You better get going. <laughs> Time's a ticking. Okay. But um, yeah. So you were saying about um, the shuttle. Oh, the car four. Car four. You have a um, a, uh, what's that restaurant? Java House. Java House car four and there's <laughs> we found that out later we'll tell you on day seven but we found out that was really close to us it could have saved us a lot of time what instead of walking all the way down with the laundry we could have walked the other way past the carport was there one right there tops and turf yeah no that was further down though was, was that about equal was distance far? i think it was equal distance okay so yeah. we could have got a different experience <laughs> than being on the beach but who knows yeah. who knows um but so that was yeah yeah i mean with that store and restaurant right there that should entice you to go out at least get coffee tea uh some good food um whatever you need for the room you know they got uh amenity what you call it amenities yeah yeah stuff you need like some toothpaste or toiletries. toiletries if you want to see what's in a uh Kenyan, well it's not really a Kenyan grocery store it's a grocery store. 
if you want to see what's in a local grocery store, that mm -hmm. how the local shop. Mm -hmm. Not that you looking at them shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, so that was pretty much it. We took our shuttle back to Swahili House. We got back about 8.30, but we'd, to be fair, we'd spent 8.30 minutes of that just waiting for the courtesy shuttle coming back, which to me wasn't really worth the wait. I would have honestly rather pay a yeah. thousand shillings I if think. I knew, if I'd known there was going to be a 30 minute wait. <clears throat> yeah, because at first we were just going to order appetizers, but then we ended up getting <laughs> entrees. And I didn't even, I took two bites of my entree and um, just saved it for the day. Yeah, that's what we both did. So, so um, I got full off the bread. True, true. Um, yeah, I, I kind of had, because you know we bring our food with us, right? And if it's not from home, then we'll bring it from a restaurant. So we that we're, we aren't, we're not having to eat like what's served on the aircraft unless we want to. But we like to have options. Um, and our airplane food is never our first option. <laughs> no <laughs> but, more. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we understand that there's a time and a place. Uh, but so yeah, because we ended up getting a full meal, uh, a couple of three starters, actually two mains and a dessert. We, neither one of us really ate our mains. We got, we were satisfied from just these starters, so it was great because we were able to pack up our mains. And they're going to be our food for tonight if we're hungry. We didn't we didn't um, take into account that we'd be at the lounge, and so I don't know if any of either one of us will be hungry tonight when we get to Kigali. By the way, we land at 6 p.m. local time in Kigali. By the way, it only takes 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's a 30 minute flight, guys, from Nairobi. From Nairobi to Kigali is just 13 minutes, so you literally go up and down. So, um, but should we get hungry? We didn't want to have to look for things at 6 p.m. at night. Well, by the time we get to the hotel, it could be eight. Or we, we didn't have, we would we didn't want to have to search for things and maybe make a poor option or even eat that late. So we have our our contingency plan was to have these entrees as our dinner for tonight if we needed it. Yeah. yeah. So we ain't got to go out and eat nothing. Yeah. The only thing we need to do is make sure we get local currency when we land. Yeah, and water. Yeah. But you see how that sets us up for success rather than having to make a poor decision late at night and just eating whatever's there. So it takes it takes effort, it takes planning, but you do have options when you're traveling. You just have to be more, um, you know, proactive. Just, yeah, exactly. Pre prepared and proactive. So, and that's what I'm always trying to to do is kind of prepare us. Uh, for the best case scenario. So um, that's it, guys. That was day six for us. We had a great time. It was a beautiful day. Again, we recommend it. Go one time is all you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got it. You got to experience it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's a nice place. The service is good. The staff is friendly. Are friendly. Mm -hmm. um, I think there was a hymn party. We don't say that in the, in the, in America. We don't say hymn parties, but I, it was like. Uh, it was some ladies all together and I assume maybe they're on like a bachelorette getaway or something like that. So for everybody in the States, him party is just like the bachelorette and her friends hanging out and doing what God knows or what. So yeah, so that was my observation on that. But yeah, that was it. Really chill night. I went to get home. I went yeah. to get to the hotel. I was falling asleep waiting for the waiting for this the shuttle. It was hot. Yeah. It was eight o'clock at night. It was, it was scorching hot. I like it. So yeah, that was it. That's it, Tacones. Uh, day six. And um, yeah, we will check y'all out for day seven because day seven is gonna be out of this world. It's gonna be fantastic. Today is day seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're tired. We're gonna go now. Yeah, I'm throwing out arbitrary numbers and days and names and hours. I'm, uh, okay. We already know. Yeah, we we'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.